This is Sunday, October the 24th. And Stephen is down here at the trailer, lubing it up. He's already lubed up the uh, truck. That's that uh, really cool tool that you bought that you that, that you paid more than you should have, right? KC says I got chrome snow chain. But is it chrome? No. They'll be rusty after the first time I use them. Are they, are they real? Yeah, they're real. Oh wow, you have to really climb up underneath there, don't you? Now you've already done the truck, right? Yep. So did you have to climb up underneath the truck? No, I have 20 foot arms. I stood next to it, my 24 foot arms went underneath it and did it. Oh, is that right? Yep. Oh, I missed quite a show then. Done. Drip grease on me. I need to get some soap under here. Check for some leaks. Ow. Wow, Donnie's really scooting. So tell me what you're doing. Putting grease in all the grease certs. Yeah, I remember when you bought that electrical greaser. Um, it's uh, really helpful to have that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it makes it my job easier. And... Uh, what I find out in life, the easier the job, the better. It's a little dry, I better pull up more in that one. So I guess the next time you're home, you'll uh, do the oil. Because uh, Stephen just had a delivery made to the house this week of um, Ann's oil. shot on that because I don't see any grease. Still don't see any grease. How often do you have to do the grease? Once a month. That's uh it's gotta be enough. Three times the amount I ought to do everywhere else. So you think there's some leaks you said? I uh, know there's some leaks back here. I can see it on the valve. 
pressure valve. It leaks off. So Why that's you... normal for trucks to get leaks. So you just have to make sure you have soap in a spray bottle and go around and check all the fittings. Why do you have chains on your trailer? You know that! Now come on, AJ! Daddy's told you all about that. There's snow chains. Because uh, certain times of the year you're required to carry them on your truck. And if you don't have them, they'll give you a ticket. Because at any given time, after a certain time of the year, uh, it could instantly snow. And you could, or like one time, I was early in the morning, I'd pull over take a leak and uh, nobody had known it, but the road had froze over. And when I went down the hill, uh, I was on ice and everybody was spinning around and jackknifing and all kinds of stuff. And the only way out was to throw chains on and get down. So, so you got to have chains on during the winter. Got to have them with you because you'll never know when you're going to need them. You can get a ticket if you don't have them, right? Yeah, well, legally, you're supposed to have them, but for actual use, you better have them if you get yourself in a bad situation. Now, there are some old birds that say, well, if there's got to be chained, then I ain't going to drive. Well, I hope that works out for you, but uh, I got to make money for a living. The only way to do that is to keep the wheels turning. Ice and snow. So, if if these are not chrome, what 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 kind of chains are they? Uh, they're just steel. They're just uh, they have a coating on them until they're now, so they won't rust. So, how do you keep somebody from stealing them? You don't. Oh, you don't. But you said the first time that you. Like maybe not a hundred, but it seems like a hundred. That you said the first time you use them, they'll probably get uh, rusty the first time. Sure, because once you uh, use them, they're going to run across the asphalt and it's going to take all that coating off of there. And it's gonna All right, well, I guess I'll meet you back down at the house. So, so, uh, so the next time you're home, you're going to do the oil change then with the AMS oil? Uh, I don't know. I have to check it and make sure it needs to be changed. Look what I just pulled off. Well, I just figured you ordered the AMS oil, so I just figured that you were preparing to do. I didn't have any more. And I use, and the truck has an oil leak. And so it uses oil. And so I got to have oil on hand to put more oil in it. So I figured well, if I was going to order one bottle, I might as well order all the bottles. Right? And you got a $100 discount by... If you order all of them, all, if you order more than $300, they ship it for free. And not only do they ship it for free, it's here the next day. Yeah, it was here so the next day. So if you order more than $300, they get free shipping and it's here the next day. So I figured if I was going to order it, I might as well order what I needed, right? That makes sense. Hey, look what I pulled up. No, you don't have to change the oil on that truck but every 50,000 miles. And I'm not going to run 50,000 miles in a month. No. I nope. do change out one oil filter every 15,000 miles. Hey, look what I do. Changing out all the oil. AJ, throw that away. It's just a root of a weed. But changing out all the oil... Now you go pick it up. What did he do? He threw it out in the road. <laughs> so, um, tell everybody what your plans are. This is Sunday. But no, uh, I don't have to change the oil but every 50,000 miles. All right, so tell everybody, tell uh, tell our big belly people what your plans are as far as um, 
Just this is Sunday. So my plans are uh, I got my lube done and I uh, have to get every, my gear loaded up and uh, get ready to get out of here. Uh, I'm going up to Peebly, uh, Peebly, Missouri to load up and uh, in the morning. And that place gets real busy, so I want to make sure that I'm there. So, like, what time do they start loading? Uh, like, if I... They open at 7 or they start loading at 7. And how, how long does it take to get there? Uh, I don't know. Um, not very long. Okay. Four hours, I guess. So, you're, hours. Leaving out the, you're leaving out this Three afternoon? Yeah, four hours. Okay, okay. Did you enjoy the car show yesterday? Yeah, it was all right. I offended uh, somebody. A liberal. <laughs> you offended a liberal. Yeah. I don't intentionally have to offend a liberal. I don't have to do anything but be a conservative. All right. So you found yourself a liberal. Yeah. Well, they're outs and abouts. They voted for a liberal president. AJ, you want to ride back with Daddy? I guess not. Okay. Right. I'll see you at the house. Later, Gator.